Morning guys, it's Tuesday morning, driving into work, noticed something a little bit interesting, uh, I was just head along the, the highway into town, the parkway, and saw growing on the side of the road a fig with figs on it. And that's interesting to me obviously because I collect figs, but more than that, it brings up questions about the fig wasp um, and whether or not number one can a fig actually manage to have viable seeds without the fig wasp and there is some people out there that say they can produce viable seeds even without pollination well number two is a fig wasp actually present in my area I mean it's possible that a, a bird or other animal has traveled a long distance with a, with a fig that was viable that they ate in another city and dropped it here But it's more likely, I think, that uh, a fig that's locally growing here is probably from uh, another fig that, is, that is, has been a host to a fig wasp. So this is the road that it's on. It's a very busy road, so we'll walk very carefully. Now it's got figs growing on this plant when we come and see it. Uh, we'll have a look at the actual figs growing on it. It asks uh, the questions, so do we have fig wasps here or do we not need the fig wasp to have viable seeds? Is it a female fruit? Is it a male fruit? Is it a capri fig? If it's a common fig, it has even more questions to ask. Uh, if for a common fig to produce uh, a fig fruit on it, it needs to have been pollinated by not just a capri fig, but a persistent capri fig, because the gene that causes common fruits to not require caprification is quite rare. So it could be a San Pedro type if it's female. Could be a Smyrna type yet to drop, although I think that's unlikely. Either way, I'll continue down this road and we'll find our fig and uh, we'll cut back once I have, uh, once we're a little bit closer to the plant. Okay, I started walking the wrong direction, obviously, and walked about a kilometer before realizing what I'd done. But we are now coming up on this fig. Definitely has at least braver crops on it I think we can agree that nobody's planted a tree from a nursery in this uh, particular environment in fact it's amazing how these figs can survive under difficult conditions uh, for instance this looks like it's all concrete down here and this fig which we've just come across is growing in a crack in the wall probably dropped off by a bird so it's definitely a fig with a braver crop. It's definitely not a capri fig. Well, could still be a capri fig, I guess. We'll take some figs home and cut them open and have a look at it. In the meantime, let's get a few cuttings off this plant. Take it all the way down here for one branch. We'll get another branch over here. Oops. Walking down the highway in thongs, not recommended. Uh, we'll take this branch back here. And just to be safe, because I'm not going to be doing this again, we'll get maybe this branch here as well. All right. Take a couple of figs. I know there's some on the branch, but we'll take a couple to see what they're like see if uh, they're capri or not I think we could probably tell at this size all right let's get our little stash and head back off this road before someone runs me down I think be back with you all in a bit all right we're back at the car and I've cut open a couple of these to see perhaps what type of fig they might be whether that's a, a common fig or a capri fig I don't know uh, I don't have enough I've, I mean I've got capri figs in the collection but none of them have ever fruited for me and I've never cut a fig open this young to kind of have a look what's inside it so maybe some of you guys out there that are a little bit more knowledgeable and have dealt with capri figs before will be able to tell me whether or not you think this is a capri fig based upon what I've got here 
or whether or not you think this is perhaps a common type it's uh, I'll try to get some good angles of it maybe get a couple of photos I think it's showing up quite nicely now so I've cut open a couple they all look very similar inside I've got this grainy sort of look I can't tell if they're male or female parts and it might be that it's just too young altogether to even be able to tell so have a look at that guys tell me what you think male capra fig female common fig either way we'll uh, grow up these these new cuttings and we'll have ourselves a new plant I don't need any more capri fig so I really hope it is a female type but as I said in order to get female figs you do need a persistent capri fig uh, at least if it's not going to be a San Pedro or a Smyrna type and you want any chance of having a common type so have a look at that guys tell me what you think and uh, yeah we'll see you all in the next one as a bit of an addendum perhaps to my last video that I kind of signed off on I had a bit of a thought whilst driving back I may not have any capri figs that I can compare that fig to but I do have braver figs so I might try to find as large a braber as I can and see how it compares to that fig that we took off the plant by the road. So I'll take one of these, um, Delia Senora Havenenka. These are even smaller, so it's probably going to be even harder to tell. What else do we have? Some brabers down here. There's Black Madeira. I don't think I'll take one of those. We've got some Brabers here, but they're even smaller. Now that there's some Brabers over here, they're a bit larger on this. So, uh, this Violette de Bordeaux. So maybe we'll take one of those as well. If they're stuck to the plant. Alright, so let's cut these open and compare. We'll be back in just a second. Okay. I'm not sure we made our task any easier. This here is the Braba of the Hyvenenka. It looks a lot different to the one we saw in the car park, but it's a much smaller fig. Next to that, this is the Braba of the Violette de Bordeaux. possible that in this one we can see the beginnings of seeds so I can see small seeds forming which is a little bit different to perhaps what we saw in the the roadside fig so I think those small white kind of uh, tips there I think they're the ovaries of the plant that will later become seeds the ovaries of the flower and then I took one of these of a similar size, another one of the figs from the roadside is so small that it's difficult to say and even this seems to potentially have some of those same uh, potential female looking parts but there's so little that the size of this fig and this one's a bit mouldy on that side but the, the size of the fig's interior is so small that it's quite difficult. We'll get a larger one. One thing I can say about these is it's quite spongy, so they, they feel they feel spongy. It just could be because it's a bit larger. I suspect that these are probably Capri figs. Let me just open that up. I suspect most likely that these are Capri figs. But again, anyone out there that has a little bit more knowledge in this area Please do let me know. I can't see any pollen forming in this. But I don't know. Alright guys, let me know what you think. Catch you later.